Today, crews started cleaning up all the debris left behind by that huge fire at Momper Insulation over the weekend. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson is live tonight by Momper. And Alyssa, you were out watching him start the cleanup. That's right. And earlier today, the lot at Momper Insulation was full of all kinds of heavy equipment. They were loading up trucks and hauling away debris. If you take a look live now, you can see it's much quieter at Momper Insulation, but there is still a lot of debris left. In fact, all the cleanup will likely go into next week. Cleaning up what's left of Momper insulation is no small job. It's not one of the biggest, but it breaks up there. These images of the massive fire Sunday afternoon are still in the minds of many. It took several days to get the flames all the way out. There were so many hot spots and all the metal, it was hard to get to them all. Now Ron Luntz and Luntz Excavating is taking over, loading up the charred, twisted remains. The metal will be recycled, but the hardest part is getting it untangled. You take a metal building and it falls down, all the bar joists are welded to I beams, and all the decking is welded to the metal, and then you have bridging metal that goes through it to keep them from twisting. So it's just been welded together with a lot of weld, and with the machine, it just takes a little time to get it ripped apart. Luntz says there were around 42 vehicles on the property. One truck skeleton found in the building this morning. A machine had to move it. And they're so burnt, there's no tires on them or everything. Everything's got to be hauled. This huge pile of debris is mostly insulation, but it won't be hauled away for at least several more days. That's because they want to be extra sure that there are no hidden embers that could reignite. And we're going to leave it set till probably Monday, and that way we're sure, and then. Uh, the fire department's also spraying water on it so we don't have any flying around, so we're keeping it moist. Fire investigators also went inside one last time, hoping to find any clues leading to a cause. But what started this fire may never be known because it burned so hot for so long. Now, cleaning up all the contaminated water is also starting to happen. I talked with the director of Homeland Security, and he tells me they're setting up filter pumps in Junk Ditch right now. Those will probably be turned on late tomorrow afternoon. All the water will be filtered through that to get the cyanide out of it. Then it will go through the sewers treatment facility to be cleaned again before it goes back out into the rivers. The whole process for cleaning all of that water could take around 13 days, but they hope to go pretty fast and maybe do it a little quicker than those 13 days. We're live in Fort Wayne, Ellis Ivinson, News Channel 15.